Welcome to Reservoir Geomechanics, a free online course made available through Stanford Online and the Open edX platform. My name is Mark Zoback. I'm a professor of geophysics at Stanford University, and I'm pleased to offer a course that I have taught at Stanford for a number of years through this open online platform. Hi, my name is Fatima Rasuli. I'm a senior PhD student in Professor Zoback's research group. My role as one of the two teaching assistants in this course is to introduce you to the homework assignments. There will be eight homework assignments designed to give each of you hands-on experience with a number of topics addressed in the course. Those of you who successfully complete 70% of the homework points will receive a statement of accomplishment. Reservoir G Mechanics is an interdisciplinary course encompassing concepts from rock mechanics, structural geology, earthquake seismology, and petroleum engineering. We will draw from these related fields to address the wide range of geomechanical problems that arise during exploration and production of petroleum reservoirs and geothermal reservoirs. This course is intended for geoscientists and engineers, both university students and working professionals, principally in the petroleum industry, but others as well who are interested in CO2 sequestration, geothermal energy development, and triggered seismicity. In short, Anyone who is interested in the application of knowledge of the state of stress in the Earth to problems related to a wide range of real-world geomechanical problems, which might be wellbore stability, active faulting, compaction and subsidence, fluid flow through fractures, and so on. The first part of the course is an tended to establish the basic principles of these disciplines, allowing students with different backgrounds to build up to applications of key concepts. We will use these concepts to then address a variety of applications in the form of case studies, with geophysical and laboratory data appropriate to the study we are addressing. Because taking this course involves an appreciable commitment of your time, the first unit is a course overview in which I introduce the topics covered in the 19 subsequent units, and we go through the course syllabus in some detail. The syllabus has been uploaded onto the course website. Each unit was recorded as a 90-minute lecture delivered in early 2014 to graduate students at Stanford University. We have broken up the 90-minute lectures into approximately 20-minute long segments. The purpose of this is twofold. First, it is to make the lectures easier to watch online, allowing you to watch any part of a unit at your convenience. Also, we recognize those of you taking this course have different backgrounds and levels of experience. Some of you might choose to skip segments of some lectures because you're already very familiar with the material. The first 17 units of the course follow the 12 chapters of my textbook, Reservoir Geomechanics, which was first published in 2007. I have updated examples in a number of the units. For example, when I discuss the difficulty of drilling when pore pressure is high and close to the frac radiant, I describe the pore pressure and stress conditions near the bottom of the Macondo well that created a very difficult operational environment that contributed to the Deepwater Horizon accident in 2010. Units 18 and 19 discuss geomechanical aspects of shale gas and tight oil production, utilizing horizontal drilling and multi-stage hydraulic fracturing. These units are based principally on the research my research group and I have done over the past eight years. Unit 20 addresses the topic of triggered seismicity associated with wastewater injection and rarely during hydraulic fracturing. Each week, two new units will be made available online. By the end of the course, all 20 units will be available. The reason for releasing the units gradually is to make sure each of you develops the fundamental knowledge you will need to understand the applications to geomechanics in the real-world examples discussed in the second half of the class. A PDF of the slides that I use in each unit will be made available online. My experience has been that students like to have a printed copy of the slides so they can take notes in the margins during the lectures. Purchasing the textbook is not required for the course. However, the book contains original references and acknowledgments, as well as mathematical derivations and a more complete discussion of many of the issues that I only have time to mention briefly in the online lectures. 
If you do choose to buy the book, it is available through Cambridge University Press and Amazon, including a Kindle edition. Please see the course announcement for details. Hi, my name is Noha Fargal. I'm a senior PhD candidate in Professor Zoback's research group. The homework assignments can be completed with a technical computing program of your choice, but we recommend using MATLAB, Excel, or R, which you can find more information on in the material provided. The homework assignments will be electronically graded and will consist of multiple choice and numerical type responses. For student questions, there will be an online discussion forum where we can address questions directly related to the lectures, related concepts, and the homework assignments. We urge you to both ask questions and participate in the discussion forum. We also welcome comments and suggestions on how we may improve the course. When you enroll, we ask you to kindly take a few minutes to complete the pre-course survey. This will give us an idea of who you are and what you're interested in. Thank you again for registering for Reservoir Geomechanics. We look forward to working with you to make the material as accessible as possible through this new online platform. We hope you enjoy the course and find the material useful in your careers.